Oh! Oh, Hello! It's the program we're on. TV. TV. What? Where? Are we TV? No. Let me tell you something today. TV is great, and I'm on it. And where are you watching, viewers? You watching TV? Doesn't it feel good? What have you been doing today? You've been waiting to get your hour in? Have you been running around at the workplace? At the bank at the old uh, the the trying trying to keep up with the old ball and chain, trying to watch your kids put your kids to sleep without going crazy, trying to appease your mother-in-law, trying to crawl out of crippling debt, trying to evade the authorities because you have warrants for your arrest because of crimes that you don't feel were justified and you trying to get a job and maintain a home over your roof over your head for you and your family you're trying to eat are you trying to fight a disease or affliction that you have are you emotionally unstable and you're trying to do things and you're, you're trying to get a break well here it is viewers it's television you know, I'm not going to go as far as to say that this is the only television show. But it is one of them. It's not the only one, I admit it. There are other television shows out there. But this is one of them. And if you ask me, it's a good one. It's easy to watch because it's there. TV, is it's easy to watch in general. But this TV show, about as easy to watch as most others. So maybe I'm... Here and you can take a load off of yours. Sit back and take it easy for a minute. What are you doing? Why are you in such a hurry? People are in a really big hurry. Everywhere you go, you see people just trying to move. Then, like nobody wants to be where they are. They want to be at the next place all the time. That is until you get home and then you get to watch TV. Then you are where you want to be. That's all there is, really. Everywhere else you're at, you're just waiting to get back to television. Right, viewers? Am I projecting? Uh, uh, it, it, that's what life's about, waiting and get back home. Get back home to TV and to the program. It's like, oh, it's nice to be here. Because I feel like I'm watching TV a little bit. It's very similar to watching TV to be doing this thing for me. Because I, I got the TVs here and I got the things and I'm sitting down. And I'm hearing sounds, I got the ocean going, and it's a nice relaxing time. So I'm taking it easy, and I'm listening to, you know, the, 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 good, the good word of myself, I guess. The good word of my mind, and sometimes you have to speak to yourself. And you want to hear the good word, and you say, what's the good word? And your mind just starts telling you the good word. Because I don't know what the good word is going to be. I get here, I don't have things to say. I don't know what's going to happen next. But I, I do them. And the things, they happen and they say them. And then you think and think about later and you think, oh, yeah, remember that? Remember when I did that thing? Remember I thought that thought? And that's what you're seeing right here, viewers. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where we're going next. And I'm living like slightly in the future, or I guess maybe in the past, because I'm trying to just say things, get them through, and get them onto the tapes. Get them on to the TV and uh, into the future. I'm gone, viewers. This is not me anymore. I'm in the past. I'm a ghost. And Scary Month is over, though. We survived Scary Month. What a load of garbage that was. We didn't really do anything for Scary Month. It's okay, though. We don't need to do things. Things are overrated. There's There was a grave at one point, but I don't know what to do with it. Is it behind the couch? Oh no, it's behind the cushion. Well, grave, it's been behind the cushion this whole time. Oh, what else is back here? Records. 
I've been lying on records and cassettes and the graves. But now it's not Halloween anymore. No longer scary month. Goodbye graves. Now we live, now we live. At least it's, now it's the winter time. Next is Thanksgiving. And we're gonna be living in Thanksgiving time because it's November. It's more November than Thursday. Thursday is such little, has very little to do with anything. It's like, what happens on Thursday? It's nothing. Is it Thursday though? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday is nothing. The day after Halloween, it's like extra nothing. Yesterday was everything, today is nothing. It's no longer Halloween, now we're in the future. In November. What happens in November? Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving is not to the very end of November also, so. It doesn't matter though, it's still Thanksgiving. It's uh, browns, reds, yellows. You know, those turkeys you make out of your hands. And I see family. And, you know, you say you eat food, but who, what food do you eat? Your family. See your family. Count your hands. If you don't have enough fingers, then make a chicken. Uh, how does the turkey work? Like this, and then the, your thumb is the turkey. It's a hand. Those turkeys, they just look like hands to me. I don't know the last time I saw one, though. Maybe I should make one again. I could try to make it on that machine. On the drawer. How is that drawer working? Not 100% on the drawer. It's over there somewhere. I could just draw on my hand or draw it on some paper and then try to hold it up to the camera or something if you want to see. But you know what I'm talking about, viewers. You don't need an example, right? Uh, I think you're... Do they, uh, do they do those turkeys in other countries? Or in other places other than like my personal school? I think I've seen them on TV. Not just in life. Was that just my teacher? Hey, did you hear about this this thing? This new way? I heard of a way to draw turkeys. What you do is put your hand down on the paper and then you outline your hand. It kind of looks like a turkey. All you got to do is add some of the details and then you got a turkey going. A turkey drawing and based off your own hand. It's a way to trick kids into putting their fingerprints onto paper so that the government can take their fingerprints and look for them later when they become criminals when they grow up. Are you a criminal now when you grow up, kids? If you are, if you are planning on criminal activity, shave your fingers soon. Start shaving them young. That's what I always say. Just in case they become criminals. Like, what? I don't know what path my children are going down. Maybe they're going to go down the path of crime. And if they do, I want to shave their fingers while they're still young, while they have a chance of getting shaved for good. That way they never get found. Protecting, well, why are you shaving my fingers? You're shaving my own skin. Mom or dad or spouse or just like whoever, stranger. It's gonna go find children and grab their hands and shave their fingers. Like, why, why are you shaving my fingers, stranger? Kid, I'm doing you a favor. If you ever become a criminal, this is gonna stop you from getting caught. But by, by then, the future, they're gonna have different ways. It's gonna be able to find your fingerprints from here. Uh, just like you don't need even fingerprints. This is like your signature that you put on from your hands and it's just like imparted on to, to like everything that you touch and it's like kind of an aura aura kind of deal kind of a crazy aura thing and then they find they're like we've made an amazing scientific discovery or auras you know or they're real they're real they happen auras happen and they're real but we're gonna use them for crime, to, to stop crime. So, you know, don't get too excited because if you thought that it was gonna be to like uh, prove the next step, which is like the afterlife or or like uh, uh, some kind of Western religion kind of deal or any kind of thing. You know? Spirituality, magic, no, no, solving, solving crime, stopping crime. War, war, war tactics against crime. Uh, oppression. You know, just government oppression, you know, again. I don't know what they're gonna be. So, if you discover the aura, viewers, keep it to yourself. Don't tell the government. They're not going to use it in uh, fun, spiritual ways. They're going to use that to find children who have shaved their fingers. Find adults who shave their fingers as children to get away from crime. You know what I'm saying? You thought you could get... 
away from crime so easily. Children, you can't get away from crime. I have your aura. I know your aura. And it's in this computer. You have an aura and I'm using it against you. Instead of showing like the news is we all share the same aura, but you can still tell which part from the signature. We're all connected, but I'm doesn't all the more reason for all the more reason to use uh, imprison criminals. The government says. Look, I made a discovery. We're all connected by a uniting aura life force, the entire planet. What is proof? Well, all the more reason to do what I want them because I don't care about myself and if I can, if it's, if you're me, then I'm going to kill you and not feel bad about it. Well, good. More excuses to oppress. But really, what's not more secrets to oppress? Oh, everything. Everything's a secret. Every every discovery. There's a new way to oppress. Somebody. It's it's the goal of humanity. Total oppression. And the press the jar different levels of oppression. Sometimes you have to be oppressed to oppress others. And the same. Well I'm gonna try to get under the oppress oppression of somebody who I want to I value. Gotta be oppressed by somebody. Might as well be oppressed by somebody good or by a good company. By the government, overall, or by your spouse, or your children, or holidays, or your ancestors. Holidays are oppressing us in a way, I think, too. We didn't do Scary Month that much, but we should talk about it and have a Halloween. We're going to do away with Scary Month. What's the point of doing away the scary month when you barely even acknowledge it in the first place? So let's we'll keep it going. It's just fading away. Maybe instead of having to actually go go forth and change a thing. So okay, you want to knock this building down, or you just want to bail? I mean, well, I'm just going to bail. I'm going to leave scary month open for squatters and uh, bats. And, uh, you know, bugs, probably mm, ro rodents, where they live and work, rodents living in, in, uh, buildings, what were we talking about, buildings, with people with roaches? I don't know. I don't know what I was talking about. I don't have the replay tape either to know. Buildings. They got roaches in them. Not going to them. Mm. Oh. I bit my cheek while eating food. You ever done that? Am I bleeding? I don't think so. You know, I really, really do that. So, should be happy to remember how often you chew your food and, and talk on TV at the same time and don't bite off your own tongue. Which I've talked about not too long ago, biting my friend's tongue. I remember talk, talking about it. 
I think I talked about it on the messages. That's all I remember. Maybe those messages of the future more than actual, like, talking. No, it's remember those messages of the future, though. Don't bite off your own tongue, though. It's going to hurt. Uh, it might give you health problems. And you're not supposed to swallow your own blood. It's like your uh, system. You got your, like, blood... Cardiovascular system, maybe, which is your blood and your lungs. And then you got your nervous system, and you got your digestive system. But if you uh, bite off your own tongue, it's gonna hurt. And then it's also gonna mix together your cardiovascular and digestive systems together and those not good. You don't want to swallow that much blood. It's kind of like internal bleeding, but it's in your digestive system, so I think it's just going to make you ill. Or vomit or something. And then you vomit and then you get uh, acid, like bile on your, off on your tongue stump. This is not internal bleeding. Internal bleeding is probably worse. Not when your stomach, when it's just your stomach bleeding. When it's just in your tube. Ooh, everybody used to be worms. And we still are in a way. Specialized worms, everything. Poop tubes. I don't know if everything's one of those worms. Probably. What about clams though? Clams don't seem like worms. I guess spiders and crabs don't seem like worms either. They're the more round thing. But they still got their digestion, I think. I don't think, I don't think that clams have as much of the digestion. I think they have, uh, I don't know. Where does their clams waste go, fish waste? Just back into the ocean? They feed the, the kelp? Or the clams eat the, eat the poop? What about uh, whales? Whales are mammals, so they gotta have it. I don't know, but I don't know about lobster. Like, <laughs> who knows? Hey, do you know anything about lobster poop? Hey, I got a question for you. I'm asking you about lobster poop. All right, November, I'm gonna eat some turkeys. Gonna uh, get a cornucopia. One of those like. Spirally beehive looking deals, you know what that is? Is that the cornucopia itself? I thought cornucopia is like a group of stuff, but and there's that one thing, maybe it's like the housing for the cornucopia. What is that thing? Let's take a look at the phones. anybody on there? We'll find out now. Maybe not. You can call the number up there. It's uh, 360-836-384. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. You know, I think the, uh, putting the phone number there is like doing the opposite of what I thought it would do. I thought that it would be, uh, Maybe this thing is just messed up also, though. It's hard to tell. No, oh, this thing's messed up. The phone is messed up. What's wrong with the phone? Is it the internet? The phones are connected through the internet, and the internet thing is not functioning. I thought it was functioning, but it would, I guess it stopped. And it should be going down there. I'm trying to... I'm trying to fix it. But where's the, um, 
uh, mm, wireless system. Because I think it might be not be working, but I thought I was on there earlier. I was on there on the other computer, I was loading up the YouTubes. But this thing is just not working. Yeah, it's not working. Uh, we got a problem, viewers. How long has it been off? You know, remember last February? Last February we had the no phones for almost a whole month. Oh, and I don't know what quite what I did. I looked at some tape stuff probably. Maybe uh, did some of this. Saying things. Oh. Might have to go flip it. Go flip it again. It's been a while since I flipped it. Oh, nope, nope. There it goes. Mr. Ginsu. Mr. Ginsu, it's too late. I can't really call you this late. I think you're going to be asleep. I did try to call you not too long ago, though. Well, come on, uh, phones. Some might go flip that thing. I'm trying to listen to these Mr. Ginsu messages. He left three of them. Three messages. Seems like it should be working better. Yeah, this one will work better. I'll go back, try to listen to Mr. Ginsu. Say, Mr. Ginsu, what did you have to say? Things not working. I don't know what what the deal is. What's the deal? I wanted to go on to the other one to use the phone. Not that one. Where is it? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. I want to hear the Mr. Ginsu message. Say, Mr. Ginsu, what did you have to say today? Well, let me tell you what. Uh, I went to the Charger Fix truck today. Didn't want to get fixed, but I tried to fix it on the way. But then I would have tried to pick it up. Uh. Well, I think I'm going to put on a tape and go flip it. That's what else can we do? Remember when I was flipping it like a million times and it didn't do anything? I, I felt like I was getting discouraged. But maybe, maybe I wasn't. It's hard to, I guess it's, it's hard to tell. If you're, it's like, are you discouraged? Or what? Is it what? Maybe it's what? not as discouraged as it seemed. I'm gonna go flip it. Go flip that thing. Yeah. That wasn't the winner. Yeah, that was a little bit of it. We'll, we'll, it'll be, it'll be, well, now I like jackets, you know? It's like we're outdoors. As long as it's dry, you can always just wear a jacket. I've got so many clothes. Yeah, we'll just, uh, you know, get a little jacket drive going. If anybody has a problem, we'll tell them to wear this jacket or something. 
Because I think, you know, I don't like to use the heat because I, I think you waste a lot of body heat, you know, when you're inside your house using the heat. Just wear a couple of jackets and you'd be okay. Think of that. Guess, so on a better note, guess what me and Adrian are using Halloween? Oh, uh, what's that? Those are these waning guys. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good one. Which one are you going to be? Well, obviously I'm the guys. Yeah? Are you going to come on the show? I have to wear Adrian's glasses. Oh, yeah, you, the you guys should glasses, come on the show. And then we'll Wayne. have... Uh, yeah, people have compared it before to Wayne's World before it. But Do you have a different prescription than she does? Is it going to be difficult to wear those glasses? Well, actually, to tell you the truth, like, you, you know, she's like blind as a bat, right? You put on those glasses, and then what? You can see fine. Do they not work? you're blind as a bat. No, I, I have a quick vision. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I just can't hear. I'm deaf. I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, here's Mr. Ginsu. Let's see what he said today. Okay. I really don't know what he said. Oh, I'm doing wrong. Uh-huh. And I open up my entire... Good, good. Yeah. Good laundry. There's another fucking five bucks in the... little fuzzy fucking deal. Whoa! That's a deal. Five bucks, clean out the phone. Close that up, because it weren't... In the dryer? Yeah, yeah. Fucking... Five bucks. Fucking five bucks. Is it his dryer? Oh, hell, I'm... Is it Mr. Ginsu's dryer? Yeah, just for hell of it. Yeah, I'm laughing about it. Dollars sitting there. What? Oh my what God. the hell? Money in the dryer? He's finding money in the dryer. He's finding money in the dryer. There's 20 bucks in my fucking laundry. What? 20 bucks? Then I go through this old pair of pants that I ain't worn in like a year. And there's five or five bucks in the box. Nice! That's his own though. That's his. I got 30 bucks in my fucking laundry. Out of his own laundry. Laundry laundry. Laundry lottery. Laundry lottery. Thirty-one dollars. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a good one. Usually only five Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. But he lost it. We told you, Mr. Ginsu. He lost his own uh, money, though, but he found it again. So it's kind of like you're saving. It's winning. So what's this here about a corkscrew? We were asking. Oh yeah, there's a corkscrew. You want it back? Yeah, that's what you too. You should probably get a bad job. Yeah, it's On the program. Mr. Ginsu left us more messages. The last one was at 8.40 p.m. This one is at 11.27 p.m. So this is right before the uh, show is starting. He's calling us. He's something to say, you got three minutes to get your show on the air. He's going to say, what the heck? That's when we know to start hustling. Yeah. So thanks, Mr. Ginsu, keeping us on task. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess... It was a pretty cold night after all. Hey, it's time for the dice game, everybody. So what happens here, we're going to get out a pen. You viewers, if you have a pen around, hopefully you do, we'll give you a minute here. One minute. Go find a pen, and then what you do is you look at the dice there, and then you visualize, so yeah, this is what's going to happen. He's going to like roll a dice, and we're going to do a little dice roll there. So you visualize the numbers that are going to come up uh, in your mind. And then it's gonna happen three times. So in the next three times, so you would think about what's gonna be rolled. So what, what do we think that roll is? So show, show that roll. That's a. This is not the roll. We gotta get numbers on our hands first. I don't even. Know. Yeah. But I already know. What? I know what it is. Talk to your mic. I know what. I know what your number is. Uh huh. All right. So we're gonna write our numbers here. When we have only that pen, there's no sharpie. Oh, where's that? I did that. I didn't tape the last one. I had a black one I thought taped up there, but... Um, I saw a here. black shake in here earlier when I came to let you guys a note. Alright, so here, bring your number down. It's all working out. Alright, here, go. Here, here, here. Oh, here, here. Oh, 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 here. Are we connected? We were for a second. Then it went back and forth. Mm. Looks like it's not connected still. Flipping didn't help. Maybe. Tried to flip, flipping didn't help. I'm gonna flip again. That's all you can do. 
And if you can't flip, and you, it's just how it goes for a while. Maybe. What are we doing when there's no flip, no flipping? I thought I was doing two, two gecks. And the only thing I can do to try to fix it is to go flip the thing again, but I do want to make, make some calls. And I want to listen to those Mr. Ginsu messages say, Mr. Ginsu, how are you? But if it's not going to go, if it's not going to go, it's just not going to go. It's the cards? Is that the cards? I don't know what the cards are. Tarot cards? What kind of cards? Like, it's not in the cards. Not in your future? The cards say no. What's the cards? What's the cards supposed to be? The cards, is it in the cards to flip the internet to fix it? No connection. Yep. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with the thing. I don't know. I'm going to go flip it again. Flip everything. I'm flipping this thing, too. Let's flip this thing first. Uh, if, if this isn't flippable, I'm going to get back, and the other thing won't be flipped either. Well, yeah, it's time to flip. Okay. I guess I'm going to try to flip one more time. That's we all I can do. We have this. We have this. But we have it. Right now I have it. It's sky cam. Can you have my number on my hand? Oh, it's too. You got to get closer. Whoa, we had a, a switcher switcher. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, whoa. Yeah, we had a little... <laughs> switcher trouble. switch the switcher. We dropped, we dropped a <laughs> thing. Now we're switching switches. Switch. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Backward switching. Cool, Here, man. Yeah, we had a little... Snap. Top of the trying to move somewhere and you gotta stand up. Oh, what? I don't know what number you want. Oh, you're so close. You... You have to, you have to write your own number. Oh, god damn it. I don't, I don't know what your number's gonna be. You have to write, you have to write it yourself. You're so close. You can read on a four. She says she wants a four. Read. I'm running a four. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, you have to get closer. God damn it. You just have to read. Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, it's almost, yeah, there you go. Here, you write your own four. That way you can... Uh. Okay, she's gonna write the four, but I, I have this marker. Oh, yeah, she's gonna use the marker. I, right now, I, I have it uh, connected to the actual marker, but I should have... Uh, oh, maybe not. See, this actually just, just proved what I was about to say. But I just dropped this cap, but I was thinking that maybe I should tape the, the string to the cap. Oh, if I tape it to the cap instead of the pen, then I can pull it off from the cap and then I can put it back. So maybe I should get this thing off and then put it on the cap instead of on the actual pen. And then it just kind of snaps on there, so then I could like pull it off and have these like markers up there. That might be a good idea. So here, we're going to check out the dice game here. Oh yeah, did you roll the money? Oh, I lost. Charlie? Charlie, if you're watching out there. Charlie, we know you are. He's winning again. He got a three. I think this was, I remember it was actually the last dice roll. The last one was three and one, too. I remember the dice from yesterday. Good job. I'm really cool, Des. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for uh, telling us about that stuff. We needed to know about it, and so did the viewers. Yeah, keep us updated and give us a call, and we'll uh, tell us the dates. We'll tell them them on the calendar. Hey, so my really good friend is coming tomorrow. Can you put him on the show? Okay. Yes. <laughs> what time? In the afternoon? Um, it's at 4. 4? So, what day is tomorrow? There, where's the calendar? Let's see. Yeah. Here's the calendar. Nope. Now you sing on it. It's October. We got the calendar, guys. Yeah, we got the, yeah, we got the calendar back. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, for Wednesday the 10th. Yeah, you're sitting on it. Wednesday the Wednesday. Jared's gonna be on here too. We'll have to call Jared. Is he Jared? Is Jared a late? Jared. Is Jared a late singing up guy? Look at you. Could get your name on that. Is you think so? So we can call Jared. He's supposed to be here tomorrow, and we'll see when he wants Jared. to come on. But we'll tell him after four. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Hi, nice Sadie. So anytime after four is good for your friend. Is that what you think, Sydney? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, she says yeah. He's trying to move. Good. If I can... If I can... I F and F and F. Yeah, well, I guess... Yeah, it well, wasn't yeah. such a gold mine after all. It wasn't such a gold mine. If I can... Put some of my wallet in the dryer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Your insurance, all of it. Let's, what about your cards? Did your license make it, Mr. Ginsu? Wow, so that's a very good, that's a oh, series man. of calls. Wow. He watched that's his wallet. Winning and then losing the lottery. Yep, laundry. It was not a gold The plan. laundry. That's, that's pretty good. So, yeah, that's all the, all the calls. Here we got a voicemail. This is the last one. This is from uh, Lisa. Oh, oh, Lisa. Huh? Dog. We haven't seen the dog in a couple of days here. Hey, we miss you, Charlie. Yeah. We're thinking about you. Maybe it's okay, not dog. too late to get the dog. Maybe she'll tell us about it. Oh, yeah. Hi, the program. It's Lisa. Um, I'm just leaving Evergreen now. I was the last person in the computer center. It's like midnight. Oh. I'm throwing out my gum, and I'm definitely not going to put it in the recycling bin. I'm going to put it in the trash. Uh, it's pretty cold, and there aren't wow. really any people left at Evergreen. I drove my car here because I didn't feel like taking the bus. And I'm surprised you didn't answer the phone because you sent me a text message that said we've been in the program from 1145 to 1245. Oh, yeah. 12. Hi. We, uh, we moved the show forward. Well, what time Maybe is we it? We can still get the dog, though. Uh, that was an hour ago. I guess we could probably call her back because it's the late time, though. Yeah. Should we go get the yeah. dog though? Maybe, yeah. Maybe try to bring the Charlie over. Man, if you just happen to be catching this, I really think you should go onto YouTube and look at the episode from a week ago. Today it was episode 739 and it was really good. About the dog? No, yeah, there was a... Uh, I think you might need to check your number on that. But I, I think that's the episode from last week. That's what I was saying. Uh, I was saying I watched the episode from today. Oh, oh, the man. Oh, today we have to Yeah, the Manhattan Murder Mystery was on. If you didn't see it, you should go on YouTube. Oh, yeah, we're going to go see them. Watch it. It was 7.39. Why really good. We thought it was too late. We can go get him, though. I think we should get the dog. It's not too late. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not. There's, it's there's not too late? So, so, I need to, so I guess I need to bring him over. Yeah, you can do that. Well, you shouldn't make assumptions just uh, because it's... Please drive, in the morning, but it's too late. Oh, okay. I just didn't know. It's hard to, uh, uh, you know, how, how late is too late? It's different for different people, and it's hard to judge early, you know? Yeah. That's true. I can't even understand anything you're saying, but I'm going to drop him off. Oh, great. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. Oh, I want to see Charlie get there. Oh, here he comes. This is exciting. Oh, this right. is just I want to see the internet yeah. work, too. How many minutes we got left in the program here? Yeah, we have about... A little bit over 40 minutes still, probably like 42, so... Yeah, 42 minutes left in the program. Oh, well, you got more time than I do. And uh, the I only have about 15 Charlie. minutes, and the phone's aren't working We're at all. super sweet. Yeah. He's going to come in. We're going to I'm going to go back the down there the table, again. And then get a good get a good view of him. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. We're going to call Mr. Ginsu. Yeah. We're going to hear all about... Well, if he answers the phone, we're going to hear all about this uh, situation, because he had about... Like, uh, from 7 till about 11 that he, uh, thought he had made the money there. So maybe... Well, well, in the Maybe he spent the money, you know, maybe he's like, Oh, I just made some money. Well, he went and bought himself a meal. What the fuck, motherfucker? Yeah. He's like, Oh, I bought myself a meal, and then I, uh, oh. shouldn't have done that because it wasn't actually prize money. Yeah. Hello? What's up? Mr. Gensu! Where on the show? How are you doing today? What are you doing? Wait, did, oh, we're we're on the program here with Freddie and Desmond. <laughs> nice to talk with you. I'm sorry to hear about your wallet. 
Yeah, that's a real bummer, man. I've done something like that. <laughs> hey, it's alright, I got my money back. <laughs> yeah, right. it made it through it, no problems. Uh, Mr. Ginzer, what about your other cards? What happened to the other cards in your wallet? Did you have any, like, business cards or insurance cards? No pictures of his daughter. Uh, oh, you My want prescription cards? Prescription cards. Oh, hey, it's it's info time, Mr. Ginsu. Here are some answers to the program. We only ask questions about the program. You know, if you didn't know, you were watching it right now, and it's called your daily hour with me. It's on every single day, and that's seven days a week. We do it 365 days a year, and there are 366 days on leap years. It's a show that tapes at different times of the day, call and when you call in, you should leave a message, because we'll definitely call you back. Anybody can come on the show, especially you. The program tapes in Olympia, Washington, and you can watch on TCTV, Thurston County, Channel 22. At 11.30 p.m. Or on YouTube, it takes a week in advance. So if you're watching on TCTV, this episode taped on the same day of the previous week. Please call in and tell your friends about the program because your daily hour with me relies on the community for content. Yep, thanks. And now, back to the program. Now, back to the program. Yeah! Hey! We're back! It's the program, we're back from the info to- Oh, Mr. Ginsu, I forgot about him. Oh, he, he hung up, let's call him back. We gotta hear about the rest of the stuff. That was a fun info time, that was a good one. Yeah. We gotta hear about these cards, we didn't- so. I think it was a picture of his daughter and uh, some prescription. A prescription, yeah, a prescription cardboard. That's too bad. That oh, hopefully it wasn't his prescription. <gasps> that daughter, the daughter picture. The glasses. Oh. Hello. Who needs that? We we got disconnect. We got disconnected. Hello, yeah. Did you see the band? <laughs> Did you see the band on tonight? You? Yep. Oh, good. yeah, you saw the band. Oh, hey, here he is. All right, it's Lisa too. Charlie, oh, he's excited. Charlie and Lisa he's excited. Here. Wow, you're here and you're so you wait, do we, he thinks we probably have a plan. <laughs> wow, we're we getting to be crazy enough to the episode, Charlie. You're <laughs> making the episode go nuts. Charlie, you just made technology go crazy with your wild energy of animal extent. Mr. Vincent, Charlie just showed up. Where's, where's the phone? Oh. You don't have a mic, can I? Mike, oh, Charlie, your dog is one. Hey, Charlie, oh, forget you. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 hey, look at this. No, no, no. <laughs> we're all messed up. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You, you made us pink. We're pink now. You yeah. take with us pink. <laughs> oh, wow, what's happening? And now you take with us off. Oh, uh, Mr. Vincent, you still there? You can hear us, you can hear us, people. We're here, but the dog just trumped all through our episode. And we love this dog that trumped through the episode. Oh, we yeah. trumped through so hard, but we're now <laughs> pink, pink or pink. black. What happened? Why are we pink? Oh, no, no. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey, yeah. a cute dog to do. Oh, yeah, dog. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Mr. Gensu. Are we still recording? No, Mr. Gensu, no. <laughs> yeah, we're still, we're still on. Hi, Mr. Gensu. Charlie <laughs> just ran through. What? I was gonna go dark, 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 dark. Yeah, oh. Did that. The color of your eyebrows. You should dye your hair like your eyebrows. That color. This you get to? I used to have long hair. Look at Charlie. What'd you say? What? Like an eyeball the other day. Uh huh. A dog and its owner. A person and their dog. What was wrong with What was wrong with the eye? Oh. Well, Lisa's trying to spread a tell story too. Wait, hold on, yeah, yeah, ready? 
I'm telling uh, a story. Yeah, On uh, Saturday night at uh, 6.30, I decided that I wanted to go see a show in Seattle that started at 8. So I hopped in the car with Charlie. Obviously, I walked in first, so there were no accidents. And then we got there. The show had just started, and they weren't selling tickets anymore. And I ran. I parked my car half a mile away because I didn't want to park in a structure. And I ran to the show at the triple door. And when I got there, they like, can't sell you a ticket. And I'm like, what? You have to sell me a ticket. And then they're like, that's OK. We're just not going to charge you. Come on in. So Whoa. then I saw this comedian okay. named Jeff Garland from this TV show, Curb Your Enthusiasm, do stand-up. Oh, that guy, yeah. He just kept on talking about yeah. having sex with his wife too much. I just feel like you Watch can only talk comedy. about that too much during your set. Mm-hmm. Anyways, but Charlie was in the car parked for two hours and then afterwards I took him out of the car and we went on a walk all over to Seattle and he really liked it. That's it. The story didn't need a microphone. I really, no one needed to hear the story. I don't even know what brought it on. What are you talking about? What? I saw, and Charlie sat in the car the whole time. That's oh. the point. Can you just imagine like He's sitting, he's like in down, we're in downtown Seattle, parked on the street at, late at night, and Charlie's just sitting in my front seat for hours. What do you think all the valet people thought about that? How did he do? Know. Oh, he did fine. He had a great time once he got out of the car. Uh-huh. And all the people, of course, when we were walking, like, oh, he's so cute. Look at that girl and her dog. Wow. And I felt really hit. Charlie, you remember? Really, it's really hip to have a huge dog. Oh, that's good. Huge. He's on really the program good. now. We're, we're a hipper. Did you get a um? It's like wearing a, rabbit fur. I think he wanted a rabbit fur boots. vest. That's kind of how I felt. Rabbit fur vest and boots. He wants I a treat. He usually he usually gets a treat when he comes into the door. Well, I did. Didn't you, did you have him one? A treat. You gotta you, get him. You should keep some here. Is that where my jacket went? No, this is my jacket. Mine is missing. It looks Uh-oh. just like that. Oh, no, Penny. no. This is definitely mine. I have You're proof. stealing my clothes I have, now. I have, I have proof. I have video yeah. proof. What? Mr. Gimsu's there. Yeah, what? I'm telling you, Penny. Oh. On the mic. Yes? Mr. Gimsu? Cheetah. Oh, you're cutting out. Can you, are you inside? Is that a problem? The problem? I can't hear him. I want to hear about this eyeball oh, story. I have a question for you. No. Well, this begins to ask something about his eye, though. Well, you saw somebody with a weird eye? Are you done? Uh, it's cold outside. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's real cold outside, so... Uh... How cold is it? Well, something... It is not right with the thing. But we're getting down to the show. A lot of today's show was uh, that other show. That's okay. Sometimes the phones don't work. Sometimes you spend the whole show trying to reset the phones to another place looking at the past. But when was that time? You can watch that other time. Like, remember that time? I had this thing going for like two seconds and then we lost it. Right? Well, tomorrow we'll be at TCTV. We have a chance to, uh, to, oh, fix, to fix things. And to be free. You want to be free, viewers? Free from phones? I'm queuing this thing up. Whitey Bulger. <laughs> Whitey Bulger. It's uh, Wednesday and it's Halloween. Woo! Happy Halloween. Bye. Ooh. Sure. It's us in the past. The phones are broke. Trying to call somebody. 
day after Halloween, November 1st, day of no phone. So I'm uh, gonna get him back though. Like last time. Okay, bye, future. Take a look at a couple of those. We only got five minutes, so we only look at one more week. I didn't put the date on there, that's okay. Is it? I don't know if she recorded a new one. Looking at a week today, it's Thursday. Monday. Sunday. Saturday. Friday, it's Friday, and then the lastly, Thursday. Hi, future. <laughs> I'm watching after I taped that stuff, so I saw the last couple of days, and I was going to be like, hey, do you remember that stuff? But I don't remember that much anyway, so what am I going to do? Which one are we going to keep going with? Bye, future! Hey, future, it's us fast! Hey, future, hey, future, if you have the power to manipulate the future or the past, would you use it to bet on things? Andrew is watching World Series. It's Friday. Bye, future. They didn't win yet? Hey, future, it's us the past. Look, at, there's a bug. The bug's up there. Maybe it's poison or something. Is it oh, it's moving. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we talked to Freddy about Halloween. Introduction in. Andrew got off the phone. Kayla's here. We're going to say the future. Uh, I don't know, this bug is really interesting to me. I want to know what kind of bug this is. Saturday. Is it a farm bug or a harvest bug? Right. Hey, hey future! Oh, Say something about the future. Hey, future, how's that shed town going? Don't get homeless. Keep your home. Okay, bye, future. Uh, yeah, it's, it's bad when you have a home. It's the past. Hey, future. Did someone find out who the cat killer is yet? Who's a better detective? Batman or Psych or Monk? Or Andrew Lansbury or Murr or what's that guy? Um, Matlock. <laughs> okay, bye, future. Lumbo. Matlock. It's us, the past. Oh, hi, past. Uh, so Andrew's talking about this bomber guy. Some, he had a neighbor who was a conspiracy person who thought about transsexuals. Um, and the Obamas. Remember that guy bombed uh, Florida or something? Or Democrats? Don't bomb people. Oh, it's... Uh, oh. Oh, oh. Tuesday, bye. Bye. Hey, future, it's us the past. Hey, future, did uh, Greg Allman come back to life? The uh, rock uh, again? Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger. <laughs> it's uh, Wednesday and it's Halloween. Woo! Woo! Bye, future. Hey, future, it's us the past. The phones are broke. Yeah. Trying to call somebody. Yeah. Day after Halloween, November 1st, day of no phone. So I'm going to get them back, though. Like last time. Okay, bye, future. <laughs> you didn't put the day on there, but that's okay. Well, we kind of made it through the day, but I got an uh, idea to try to fix the internet. But it's going to take a while, so we can't make the calls. 
Uh, it's okay. We don't need to make calls. We can still look at the past. I think looking at the past is valid. And the thing, I'm going to try to hook this deal up over there when we get it going. But until then, we're not going to know how anybody is doing. It's like, how's grandma doing? Is that going to start this thing over? But we're, I mean, we're not going to start this thing over just to grandma and try to call grandma and everything. I'm, I, bet, I bet they're doing okay. We'll probably talk to them tomorrow. Whenever we listen to this Mr. Ginsu message, and it's on tomorrow either. Maybe I can make them unread if I get the internet going before this thing is done, before we can get the phones listened to. Thanks for watching today, viewers. Thanks for the past. I think it was Desmond and Sadie and Freddie on the couch in the past. I don't know if Charlie ever showed up. Maybe we'll look at this same episode later on. It's Thursday. We're on TCD for channel 22, 1130, and 2HM. And I wanted to do dot com. Yeah, 360.3.4. Only message on TV. Number three. Check it out. Yeah, do four guys. Good song. Thank you. TCTV. The baby doing fabulous program. South by Cotton. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you. And viewers, too, you're watching. Thank you.